Hello, my name is Andrew Gent with VaultDB Engineering. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to monitor the health of databases using the VaultDB Enterprise Manager. And in particular, how to use the durability features of VaultDB to detect and to recover from hardware errors. As we can see on the screen, I have two databases running here, the Flight and the Vota databases. And particularly in the case of the Flight database, I've set the case safety value to one. This means that there's actually two copies of all the partitions in the database. And so the cluster can actually um, withstand at least one node failing. I have two nodes here that running, server A and B. Um, so for this demonstration, what I'll do is I will switch to looking at the other database, Vota. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate a hardware error in on the flight application. Um, what I'll do is I'll actually kill the application on one server. And if you look at the icon, you'll see that it's turned yellow. Uh, it's a yellow triangle with an exclamation mark indicating there's a problem. Um, however, the database is still running. If we switch to look at that database, you'll notice, notice that it's a yellow warning, not red, and that one of the servers is still running. And we can see that the problem is that server B has failed because I forced it to. Um, now normally, if you knew what the error was and said, okay, well, well, we'll just bring it back in. If I click on the server name, I can say rejoin, in which case the enterprise manager will get the server B to rejoin the cluster um, and come back to the full health. Um, but assuming we had actually suffered a hardware error, you may not actually be able to recover and, and get server B back up and running immediately. So one of the other options you have is to say, well, I need to replace it with another server. So let's say replace. I have another server on standby, so I'll just replace server B with server C. And as you can see, it's been replaced in the list. And now I can have server C rejoin in its place. When I ask it to rejoin, what will happen is the enterprise manager will copy over the necessary files to server B. Ah, and as you can see, it has not started it. The server's green, and the icon for the database itself turns green. And throughout that, you'll notice that in the transactions, the application continued to run, um, even though we had a ser server failure and we actually had to replace one of the server nodes. Um, and that's how easy it is to both monitor and detect uh, the health of your application using the Enterprise Manager. If you'd like to try this yourself, you can get a trial copy of the VaultDB Enterprise Edition on our website, www.vaultdb.com. Thank you.